birthday dinner, but would love to go sometime. The Grand Line looks like a fun time. That should be a uh, motto there. The Grand Line is a fun time. Oh, uh, the Saturday ABB, it's December 10th. That's what we're doing for that. You can check it out on, uh, I think it's start.gg slash gimb holiday is our short link for that one there. Yeah, the duck's nodding in confirmation there. So that is correct. Woo! Now then, if we've got another scrapping match here between the two sex kick nares. Of course, Mr. McLeod and Link. All right, gonna dodge, or just block rather, all those hits of up smash. Oh, falling right into the hero spin though. Rather aggressive start here for Orange, actually, Magic. Yeah, definitely a little bit different of his playstyle. Maybe for someone like Fox, that's what you want, though. you got to match fire with fire, and, you know, he's got the fire Fox quite literally, and he, I love it. Hunger's actually said before, oh, yep. oh, okay, big up smash. Part of his playstyle, he likes to do hot cold, hot cold. You know, like the icy heat packs for your muscles there? Ah. He's doing a little bit of that as well, because he's got to steamroll your face a little bit, and then... Just chill, you know? Let your mental get a little scrambled there from all those combos. Woo! Hitting them with the old Katy Perry, I see, you know? Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> Hunger has the Katy Perry <laughs> play style. That's perfect. <laughs> He's definitely, you know, relying on that kiss the girls mindset. And, uh, no, you're, you're not going for that one there, but... <laughs> no, no, no. Um, yeah, the hot and cold. Oh, I was going to say, though, he changes his play style like a girl changes clothes, you know? There we go. It just writes itself. Oh, Hunger's got to be a fan. Oh, you can yeah. tell. All right, but you know what he's probably not a fan of? <laughs> Getting ledge trapped by Link oh God. here. Okay, what? All right, sure. Oh my God, see, that was the cold there. I don't think it paid off, unfortunately. Orange, just too many options there. He was kind of messing with him mentally. I feel like just by swinging the old Master Sword there, he was just trying to, you know, get hunger to just be very confused which i'm sure he was he's just standing there like what is this man cooking and then the forward air coming out flying taking hunger's first stock yeah. hunger answered immediately and now we've got a two game, game two stock game here two yeah. game game and he was oh, chilling yeah. on the ledge there actually it was pretty nice to see not getting too aggressive there and <laughs> yeah five dollars i think that might be hunger's thing you know of course can't judge the man for it if he's a big katie perry fan you know yeah, now we're going to hear him roar <laughs> as he gets yeah, yeah, there blown go. up by the rope oh, gosh. Bomb. oh, those arrows. Oh, my God. Orange, that was beautiful. Fox living, which is kind of crazy. Oh, I don't know if arrow there was the right option, but it was so cool watching someone snipe like that. It kind of brings me back to that Mewtwo King clip on Project M back in the day when he played Pit, and he would just snipe everyone with Pit's arrows like crazy, like mad. I don't know how people do it. Oh, yeah. Gosh, those were the days, eh? I mean, people can still do that now. Don't get me wrong, but... Nonetheless, we've got a game of projectiles coming out here. The boomerang. Oh, my God. Notice how Orange uh, weaved out the way of the boomerang to give it an extended duration. True. Here. And it almost went down to that lower half of the stage, you know, preventing hunger from that low recovery there as well. Good one, five dollars. <laughs> yeah, like what a dark horse. I do agree, you know. You can tell. You don't want to piss him off. Oh! Nah, he's there's no fine, fresh, back, and fierce right, right yeah. now. Yeah. With those uh, tomahawk turnaround grabs. Ooh. Hunger and uh, MT are like the most proficient players I personally know with that, and I've tried incorporating it into my own play style a little, but I don't play this game very much, so it doesn't count for much, I'm yeah, afraid. Yeah, I gotta practice more. I'm only playing on Fridays, and I'm getting rusty. I've been 2-2 two, two, and 2-2 two, two, and a 1-2 two, and 0-2, oh, and I want to be here in Grand Finals with Orange and Hungy, you know? I would love to see you in Grand Finals alongside Hor Orange and Hungy at the same time. Maybe in that triples bracket. Oh, yeah. Five dollars, you're on fire, my friend. <laughs> you know, that's a good question, five dollars. I'm sure that would w line up well with, you know, with his mindset here and how he plays the game. Going to California, I don't know. <laughs> California girls, California foxes. Woo! Okay. Nice hero spin. Just a quick get off me option there. Oh my god, Mr. McLeod is not at a good percent right oh. now. Look at the stocks dodging the hero spin. That was great down tilt though from Orange. Oh my god, look oh. at Orange's patience. Like, a little too patient. Letting him kick him in the face through that shield poke, but maybe he's just trying to send a message here. He's not looking too worried. I think Hunger is playing on, like, on point right now, Magic. All those back airs at the end of the last stock just to put up so much pressure and eventually got the shield poke. And now we've got like a huge string here from the left to right of the stage. Yeah, he did get that down to the attack cancel backer, dash attack reset to a full hop there. Run right into the hero <sighs> spin. It's so funny. Eh? We say so many inputs that Fox has to do and then Link's just like, swing sword. Oh yeah. I mean, that's how you do it when you're a sword. You just swing the sword and you win the game.
You know, either, you know, you get that quick little circular motion on the control stick plus B, or you hold down the B button, wrong game. Wrong link I was going to say, if that was in this, that'd be so cool if they had that mechanic. Oh, I mean, they already got motion inputs on other characters. Yeah. Why not throw them in for Link, too? If Link had that and it was like an extra strong version of the move, that'd be kind of scary. Woo! That'd be kind of scary, but, you know, Oh, cool. we might need to <laughs> <laughs> cut now, that one out there, but it's all good, man. 1-0, though. Oh, Orange. yeah, baby. He's got that L there beside the orange, but that could change to a dub if he keeps this up. Actually, well, metaphorically speaking, you're not you're not incorrect, but yeah, no, it's it, not hunger gonna... would be the one gaining an L there, <laughs> and orange no, still has his too, you know. Oh, the hero spin gonna knock him off. Oh my god, they... yo, that was a perfect two frame. That was so good from orange. And the down tilt scoop, yep. Yeah. It's just very well played, taking advantage of Callus's relatively small side blast zones there. Going to be sending Fox to an early grave now. Bit of a uphill climb here for Hungi. Oh, God. You know, yeah, Kalos not really looking too hot for him so far. He, oh, oh, that was he probably meant to jump before that, I imagine. He's just Yeah, he's just spinning, man. Spin to win, as they say. Took the words right out of my mouth there, Magic. It's the perfect way to describe Orange of this grand finals <laughs> here. But it's just working for him. There's oh another God, one. There's another one. There's another one. You know, sure as uh, me and two Michaels were chanting A every time Evie back aired at charging station. Yeah. We could probably get a chant going for every time Orange spins a spin attacks in the set here, because it is I'll very... do a, a 360 chant. I'll spin myself while cheering for him, you know? Woo! Oh my gosh! Two stocks up. Orange, great start here for this second game. He's really dominating so far. And, I mean, $5, I mean, do we really need that more bucks link up B? You know, as I said it, like, it clearly is strong enough already. I think the only buff Link needs is to put on the classic Tunic of Time and not the <laughs> Tunic of the Wild, because that is an abomination, if you ask me. It's kind of like, you know what, I don't want to have this discussion right now because Twitter's shutting down. We'll talk about it another time. Oh sure, as we'll talk about this down tilt into up e once again from Orange. No way. Oh, oh nice. That was a great tech, because that was, oh, man. l at the Asus? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but damn, this is a crazy set around, I guess, for Orange. Like... I mean, he really is still spinning. Oh my god, that F smash just let it rip. Big F smash Holy. and a three stock. All right, now one game away from the bracket reset magic. This is looking a little dire for Hunger, but... He can do it. Yeah, he he's calculating can. his brain right now. He's like, all right, what happened there? Why did I just get three stocked? How can I change this? How can I three stock him? I wonder if Kalos against Link, as I said before, maybe isn't the play, but Hunger, it worked for him on the winner's side of... Oh, sorry, on winner's finals, I should say. It's true. And he did actually use the wall pretty well there from that spike, right? That it's was such a, really a linear spike there. He's not going to be able to kind of do it off stage too often, I don't think, for Link. Exactly. Oh, we're running it back. All right. Hunger's clearly got something in mind here. Probably going to adjust his game plan. You know, the hot and cold, as we were saying. Just running right in there. What is he cooking? He's cooking some forward airs. He's cooking, <gasps> He's an, cooking SD an SD. He's cooking an SD. Oh, my gosh. All right. That's, man, that's a feels-good moment for Hunger, especially after that last set. God, it's like, you know, yeah, Orange is just giving him the free, I don't want to call it handicap, but it's like, you know, Orange starts the game with two stocks, Hunger starts the game with three stocks. I mean, in theory, with how last round went, Orange doesn't need that third stock, right? I suppose not. Maybe it's charity for the last game. He's like, all right, buddy, you worked up a lot of damage <laughs> yeah. here. You've earned it. I'll just give you a free stock right off the start here. But Hunger's like, all right, thank oh. you, my good sir. Let me quickly miss this tech chase, but still get a nice little F tilt. No, but a scary a, move. A good tech from Orange, though, recognizing, because that's like that mid forward air animation thing where if Hunger drags you down, like, you dead. Like, it is <laughs> devastating there. So, good stuff from Orange. He knows his Fox. He does. Oh, that's down. And he knows his <gasps> hero spin as well. All right, what's he going to do here? Going to go for the downer? Oh, no, I, I don't know if he meant to grab ledge there, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm not sure either, oh. but Hunger having the bomb there was so helpful, and that was a crazy walk up and grab. Yo, oh, did he just walk up slowly and, and grab, grab with Fox, <laughs> who doesn't really get much off grabs, but he does get some stage control, and 156 looking a lot better for Hunger here. Oh, but if he gets to like 30, oh right, never mind. I'm not even gonna say it. No Let one it rip. manifest it. Yep, just get them smash. Beyblades out. Pull the trigger, and that is gonna be Mr. McCloud sending Link to his final stock here. Let's see if Hunger can finally take a game on Grand Finals. That was a cool little shine stall there too. Stopping Orange's boomerang combo from kind of keeping Link going. Yo, that spin. Well, at the same time, like you said, Magic stalling to slightly delay his landing, throw off any potential punish from Orange there. So just 
Oh, the cross up. That was so yeah, good. Yeah, critical there. Especially, I was just kind of thinking, Orange is doing so many, like, let me hit your shield. Sorry, let you hit my shield. I'm going to either up your up smash. Like, doesn't care if the up smash doesn't even kill. It's just a lot of damage and a lot of pressure, right? Oh, that's great. I love seeing him pick up the item while hit him at the same time. Here's the thing, though. In theory, Link should be immune to shield cross-ups because spin attack and up smash cover both sides of him. So when he hard committed to that grab, yeah, he exactly. just, you know, didn't get the punish he was looking for, sadly. He missed called it. And honestly, I don't even know if he should ever go for a shield grab. I think he should just keep up this up B, up smash kind of thing. Although, they are both laggy. That's the thing. And also, they're both, like, really good at kill moves for Link, so you don't want to be stalling them too... Or stalling them yeah. too much, excuse me. No, that's true. Oh, hey, Anaconda. How you doing there? Yeah, we were just talking about you, Anaconda. I think your jacket's here. I think you forgot a couple weeks ago. If you're going to MSS, I will bring it on Wednesday. But... Ooh. But thanks for tuning in, yeah. Yeah, always a pleasure. Can't wait to see your Byleth in action again. Oh my gosh. Just Speaking like... of in action, look at this. Oh, hey. gonna take the words out of your mouth there, Mobin. Oh. Hey, buddy, do what you gotta do. We're gonna see a forward throw setting up for a ledge trap, but no bomb recovery once again. Just I've seen one this set. It's crazy. It's usually a lot more prominent in Link's game plan. Oh, I love those empty hops. Maybe Orange hunger. isn't feeling too comfortable with it, but uh, I did want to say a couple, or uh, earlier in this game here, Hunger actually held onto the bomb while recovering to, oh man, missing that down smash, to really ensure that, you know, he couldn't get that crazy rinse and repeat explosion of the bomb. Orange, though, just whipping the bomb in place there. Oh, all right. Oh. Nice drill. Not going to get a follow-up, sadly. Just set up for a ledge trap. Oh, going for a hard commitment to punish a neutral get up. <gasps> oh, oh my this God. could be big for either player, honestly. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. no way. Ah, oh, that was so risky. Hunger finally taking it. You know, putting himself up on the board here in Grand Finals. Honestly, the risk, to, the risk there was okay because... Orange needs to do that second hit. So if Hunger traded with the first swing, he would have been fine. Oh, good point, actually. Yeah. yeah. Don't know what but it, it worked anyway, right? Oh, now. I was going to say, don't know what it's getting <laughs> so tense about when you put it like that. It is. Plus, yeah. you know, charging the smash attack increased the knockback. The knockback took there, so no, he was for sure. Uber dead. But still, if Orange just kind of whoop, whoop, let it go, <gasps> I don't know if that back air would have been as smart, right? As we said before. And okay, that'd be great. Let go. That'd be great to see Anaconda trapped at work. You know, it's nice to be able to tune in while from work still, but I guess that's the perks of the job, right? The perks of the job there. It's true. You know, at least you're getting paid, which is nice, but, you know, sometimes you got to sacrifice your time for a little money. But we shouldn't have to do that. Sure as, you know, we got to make sure that Hunger takes this game here because we got to open your heart from Sonic Adventure 1. Yep. That's oh, right. Oh, my goat. That's why he's the goat, Magic. Yeah, the pain oh. at stake here. Last <laughs> set, you know, he was feeling the pain, but now... He's taking it seriously. We're back. I mean, the FD is interesting. I He didn't win last time we were on FD, but could be different this time. Nah, he's got a second win here. Ooh. I almost want to turn up my own personal game audio here just because this song is such a jam. But I don't want to drown out the sound of my good friend Magic's voice here. Hey, don't worry. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like this. I mean, good stuff on Orange's part there. Good catch, but... I can't believe it hits. Like, it's such a horizontal looking hitbox but he like scooped him out from so far and then up smash narrowly missed oh, look at all these projectiles flying out oh, oh my gosh going for the great ledge trump, trump. You don't see a lot of players going for that anymore and someone like link <laughs> could get a lot off it but hey he doesn't need it there hunger coming back getting a great up smash there center stage beautiful punish on the air dodge of course but now we've got the barrage of projectiles oh. come out this could be a downer it is a downer but oh my god oh he missed the no. tech so he's dead and Aww. Orange could have died there as well, but he had a jump, he had his up B, he was looking okay. Okay, you know, speaking of looking okay, that little string there from Hunger, not too bad. Oh, yeah. oh that wow. nice, the jab trading with Blink's up smash somehow. <laughs> yeah, punch the sword, it's gonna work out. Oh, that time though. Hey, Doc Lewis always said the punch is mightier than the sword, you know? Hey, spitting facts, that old man, eh? <laughs> oh yeah. All right, but in this case, let's see if the foot's stronger than the punch. That foot was looking good. That forward throw once again. Oh, oh. my god. Miss spacing there. That was such a scary down air for Fox. God, I'm sorry. Hunter's just so sick. The way he like did the little tomahawk grab over Link's down smash looks so cool. Just a big fan of those guys. I don't know. I pop off for the tomahawk grabs. I just think they look so cool. It's so subtle too, eh? Like it's hard to notice at times if you're not paying attention fully. And gosh, 93% here. He's getting another grab. No, but I mean, there's such a good option that not many yeah. people use because, you know, you see your opponent in the air above you, you're going to shield because you think they're going to land with an aerial. And especially if they're facing away from you, it's just so smart. I love it. No, truly, as you said, Movin Time, like, 
He's using it so wisely and at critical times to even dodge the attacks that are coming out from Orange as well. He's looking for the down oh. tilt. He got oh, it this the time. Tech. Let's yep. go. Oh, oh, he landed in the upset. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn. Yep. Good stuff from Orange there. It is Mobin time. You said it, Anaconda. Hey. We are in the endless now, my friend, as we enter into a grand finals reset. Now let's see if Hunger can smash Orange's flame clock and liberate us, or if it's going to keep going. Hunger going to show the love to Caramel there. Win grand finals for the yep. one and only. Nah, he's got his own theme music playing now. I guess the Mobin time music just ain't it for Hungy, sadly. But, you know, it is what it is. We share a love of Castlevania music and Star Fox music, so it's all good. Oh, cool. Yeah, happy early birthday, Caramel. I think our stream was definitely going to be done before then, so want to get that in now. I know soon, soon. Happy 21st for uh, one more hour, eh? Yeah, happy happy early birthday there, Caramel. Hope you have yourself a wonderful day. Ooh. It's a Saturday. Don't you just love having birthdays on Saturdays? Yeah. All that rules. It's perfect. Oh, my gosh. All right. You know what else is perfect? The string here from Hungy coming out. I'm surprised we haven't seen more PS2. It's his home stage. It's where he was born and raised, and he's got his own theme song going, and he's the master of combos on these platforms. It's working well so far. Just, I don't, I cannot Oh, no. Oh, the God. boomerang. Oh, my gosh. Actually stopping that F smash combo. Oh. Yeah, that was brilliantly played from Orange. I don't know if it was calculator or not, but either way, the boomerang, like a good neighbor, coming in clutch when you need it, going to save you from that jab block demise. Yeah, boomerang is there. He's there for you. Uh-oh. <laughs> if you know the words, you can join in, too. <laughs> All right. Oh, that Nair. I love Link Nair. It's, oh, God, that was just a let it rip kind of F smash in the middle of the stage there, Orange. Not too sure why he chose that option. Oh, it's just because, I mean, I don't know if you caught doubles at charging station, but he was kind of just deleting Panther's Fox with a lot of F smashes. It was kind of True. Funny. Um, I wonder if that's affected it so far for him, because that... Oh, they are different boxes. Both of them just swing it all around there. That is like playing Legend of Zelda, right? You just let it go all the oh, time. Yeah. Just swing the Master Sword. You L target onto your enemy and just go, <laughs> you know, over and over. Oh, th occasionally throw out your Deku Nuts. Yeah. Got to whip them out sometimes. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what it's all about. Just like you want to whip out these Nairs or the Drag Down Fair. Great patience there from Hunger. And getting that back air after the up air catches him on the platform. That was so nice. Oh, Hunger or Orange. What's excuse me, Orange. Yeah. I think he was trying to read a roll there. Because, you know, a lot of people have a habit True. of when someone comes off the Angel platform, they roll in. Like, they corner themselves and roll in. Orange was probably anticipating that from Hunger there. So That was a nice wave bounce on oh, the boomerang yeah. there. Having that momentum shift and... Running point blank into the arrow there. That looks pretty funny. Oh, catching the jump. I think Orange is just doing way too many smash attacks right now, though. Like, I know it's going to kill Fox probably anywhere, but that's kind of a thing. You know, when people are seeing red, they're seeing that percentage, that profile smoking at the bottom left. Oh, they want to take the stock. But, I mean, he got it there eventually, right, I guess. And without needing a smash attack. Now, without needing a smash attack. Yeah, kind of recognizing they weren't working. Oh, wow. Oh, Up to back here. That's a tight conversion there. Plus, he was, like, facing... Uh, I'm pretty sure he was facing forward on the up tilt yeah. and instantly turn around. So, like... It was smart. It was great buffer there. Oh, man. Hunger is Fox. is just... Oh. oh. Wow, he's living that. Bomb recovery? No. Nope. Oh, we messed it up. See, I was saying, maybe he's not as confident on it right now. That's why he hasn't been using it as much. It's a hard setup, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. That I mean, was so much pressure on the platform there, oh, my God. Nonetheless, Hunger is in it to win it here. You know, already taking the first game of the Grand Final Reset Magic. Pretty convincingly, might I add. Oh, yeah. That was almost a three-star. All right, Anaconda, I appreciate your enthusiasm. You know, cheering for the hometown hero. Yeah, of course. He's starving, he needs to eat. Yeah, he's hungry. That's right. And, uh, oh, we're getting a stage change here. Orange <laughs> picking a song. Keep okay. Picking open your I love this oh, man. Oh, man. This is so great. You know, the pain at stake. The pain at stake. Oh, my oh, goodness. Maybe his hands are in pain. He was shaking them there what a little bit. Haven't seen him do that before. Cooking. Did you see that magic? Did you see that? What? Well, the Gerudo King is here to play. You know, historically, he's got some dirt on Fox McCloud, but... What the hell? I don't know if he's just trolling or not, but, I mean, That's Hunger... That's so interesting. Oh. I mean, he took the bracket reset, though. Like, I feel like Orange should be feeling hot, but that last game was just... You know, it's okay to not have one good game in a set of six rounds, but... Is the it bad Ganon? that I want to say this matchup is not terrible for Ganondorf? Oh, I can see it. I'm pretty sure we've seen Hunger lose to VG Addict a couple times before, right? Exactly. Literally uh, down air at any percent. Just like, not even... 
Ganon doesn't even need to smash attacks. His normals can just delete Fox. Oh, oh God, that was scary. Yeah, that up air is up. so good, right? That down air was a little bit misplaced, I think. Honestly, every aerial, every tilt, hell, even his jab probably could set him at a pretty bad angle True. to recover from. Well, not Fox. Fox has a lot of options. There it is. The yeah, painted there it is, stick. There it is. There it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Lyric. All right. But um, God, <laughs> he's just kind of swinging. He <laughs> is using a lot of aerials on stage, which I don't really, I don't really know why. Look, Orange just setting up a giant wall of backers because he knows that if Fox eats that, you know, backhanded punch to the face, he is dead. Yeah, but, but doing it from center stage, though, well, but I don't know, because, like, Hunger is, he's fast enough, and he's going to recognize, you know, a pattern there, and he's going to be able to just jump in, get a little percent, when it's safe. And, of oh! course, you know, Ganondorf, that F tilt, oh, my God. That's much of a power, oh, beautiful angle on the Firefox there to dodge the stage spike. Yeah, I that's surprising. It. it definitely would have oh. been untackable, yeah, even that was untackable, right? At I'm that percent from Ganon aerials. I honestly don't know if he was going for a Nair or a Shine Spike there, to be honest. But it doesn't matter. Veej is... Or not Veej. <laughs> Orange is dead. I'm always just so used to saying Veej when talking about Dorf here. But... That's funny, yeah. All oh, right. Oh, look at that. See? Look at that. And he uh, even got the last turnaround, that extra tip on that up tilt there. That was really smart from Hunger. Look, I always strive to be unbiased, but I just got to say, it, heavies deserve that 100%. <laughs> you guys deserve all the damage you take. That wouldn't affect a normal character. Anyway. Nice. I'm surprised that F Smash did not pop the shield magic. Yeah, I was thinking about it because, like, if you get a little scared and you hold it for too long, it's going to break your shield because of the extra oh, duration. Oh, oh my gosh. Hungers. That was a great tech. On the bottom of the stage. He's just so on point with it. Oh, nice whiff punish there, getting the clean two stock. Oh, my gosh. I am surprised Orange picked Ganondorf. Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly not sure what that was. I mean, I don't know if he was just going for some hard matchup check on Hunger, but... Maybe. Actually, that's true, right? Yeah. Because... Oh, yeah, they went to Battlefield. He'll probably switch back to Link. This is a stage for the Magnificent Hero to reemerge once again. Whoa. Or are we going to hear it again on this stage? Did you see that? Was he going to Young Link? We're going to hear it again. Oh, nice. Possibly. All right. You know, I'm a big fan. I, I own, the honestly, Sonic set. I was just expecting Hunger to do it for one game. I was not expecting to hear it like four times. Whoa, Whoa Captain Falcon. Okay. Oh, I love Falcon. Okay, this is exciting. All right, Magic. Actually, yeah, sticking to that same move style from Ganon, right? Oh, uh, yes. And uh, I gotta say, this color scheme here is just very reminiscent of my favorite captain, the Falcon, of oh, course. Oh, of course. The one and only Captain Falcon, as they say, leader of the MSS tournaments. Woohoo! Okay. Oh, wow, he's just swinging. He is aggressive. Yeah, he, that's what I'm saying. Orange is doing, I think, too many hitboxes. Like, he just did a Nair out of that up B. Or, sorry, a knee. And he did it again out of the up B. What is what is that all about? Orange is, like, one of those bosses, like, right now in this grand final set, where, you know, you get them down to low health, and they just start swinging out all their crazy powerful attacks at you. They become the ultimate glass cannon. So you need to take advantage of their overzealousness here. Yeah, honestly, it's like a Dark Souls boss. You just didn't know they had these moves, and... Our, uh, Elden Ring, I want to say, not Dark Souls, sorry. But regardless... Oh, I had oh. a different Game of the Year nominee in mind there when I said that, Magic. <laughs> but, you know, Dark Souls, Elden Ring works too. Just like how Orange is going to miss that uh, up B, sadly, for him. But, you know, big dub for Mr. McQuad. Except for that D.I.E. there. Yeah, the D.I.E. on the dash attack. Only the real ones know space. Okay, space. it's also great to hear from you, Space Australia. But, like, and I don't know. I, I guess I'm not one of the real ones, because I've definitely not seen this before. Oh, you and me both, Magic. We're some fake Orange fans here. This is a new level of the Orange Iceberg we just unlocked here. <laughs> Honestly. And uh, respecting oh. that platform there. Oh, nice. Got a, got a good combo off the Raptor boost. Oh, uh -oh. oh, yeah. The power of that super armor there compels you. Getting hit by that quick uppercut. The Raptor boost. All right, but a nice backer to the face. Man, this is the battle of a Switch franchise. Both these characters, they want a game. They got to represent themselves, right? And oh. They're both duking it out here to settle it in I've... Smash, as they say. Oh, yes, those old Smash 3DS commercials from back in the day. I was thinking about one the other day, just that Donkey Kong guy on the bus fighting the Mii Sword Fighter oh, kid. Yeah. So It's on, like, Donkey Kong. It was like a predecessor to Nick oh. SF versus Gamer. True, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Anyway, oh, that was interesting. Getting like the very, oh, the stomp, wow. Nice, good stomp there, getting the two frame. It'd be crazy to see Orange win with the Falcon. Yes, I agree, Magic, you know. Um, the Captain Falcon is the surprise hit of this bracket here. And uh, it's working out pretty well, you know. He's still got a nice little lead over Hungi. 
my god. But yeah, this really is the El Alcid, or excuse me, the El Alcid de Jesus, as they're oh. saying in the chat there. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I've been skipping out on the... I mean, actually, I've been trying to keep my Duolingo streak going there. Whoa! Just like Hunger keeping his tech chasing going. Yeah, or he is just up. on top of them. Oh, yeah, true, I guess. They lack up the tech in place. Orange really going to have to take the stock soon. Oh, wow. Oh. That ledge trump is going to be scary with Falcon as well. That armor didn't come through. Oh, well, was that a dash attack or raptor boost I could have sworn it was a raptor boost. Oh, wow. He's just spamming the up B button there. It's, it's kind of crazy. I remember <laughs> facing Sephiroth's Falcon in Guelph once, and, like, it's it's pretty good on stage. It's just if you miss, you know. Uh-oh, like this. But then again, landing on that platform. Oh, <gasps> wow. Overestimating oh the knockback gosh. of the doubt. Oh, no, no, no. Get, don't get scooped into it. Or that would have been messed up. Oh, nice. Up till beating out the up B. All right. And now, you know, Hunger can honestly bring this what? back. This what kind of up B was that, though? That's like a free punish, only getting a dash attack. Oh, my God. What uh. is Orange doing? He's, he's cooking swinging. something. We don't know what it is. This is his, like, you know, bot. He's down to, like, 1% of his health, and he's just swinging now. He's like, all right, if I go down, I'm taking you with me. Yeah, oh, quite literally. Oh, yeah, this is literally Andros for Hungry. Oh, my God, oh. he got the jab lock off that. And that's the bad ending for Fox McCloud, but a good one for Orange as he finally finds his footing in this grand final reset magic. That was, like, a very tight conversion there. He did soft knee. Jab one, jab two, down smash. Like, that's good stuff from Orange, recognizing that no-tech situation. He understood the pain was at stake there, Magic. I can't believe it. That was crazy. Yeah, you know, the chat mixed emotions on that last win there, but we're sticking with the Falcon. It's really working for Orange. I don't know. That was a tight finish there. It was. And uh, I heard we picked a different stage, though. No more of the pain at stake there. We got to go back to the... Uh, Cynthia theme, right? Got to get that home stage advantage here once again. Oh, nice. That was a great little up air drag through. Oh, I also just loved Hungry's usage of forward air in the set. Like, between, you know, just extending combos and also dragging down to, you know, set up like a missed tech situation on the platform. It's yep. just really smart move moves, move usage, excuse me, from Hunger. Except for that rapid jab there. That was a little sus, and he got a nice big punish. It oh. went a little bit too long, although Orange was also, like, moving his shield in it. It was just kind of weird on both players' parts. I don't know if they were messing with each other. Really Speaking Ooh. of uh, both players messing with each other right now, you know, Orange is just swinging over there, fighting his ghost, fighting those unholy demons away. Get that up tilt in the back air from Fox. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right. Now we're just in neutral. Two very quick characters. Fox McCloud, I think he's like, what? Oh. Oh! Okay, oh gonna goodness. learn from last game. Not dying from that situation. He's living and learning there, Magic, that's for sure. Yeah, he doesn't even need the Sonic music. <laughs> Oh, okay. Dear. I wish Fox had a pretty good two-frame option, but Hunger, I think if he started going for some ledge trump back airs, like, Fox's back air is probably quick enough to connect, right? Oh, problem I, is, I imagine going for ledge trap with Fox is super risky because of how quickly he falls, you know? Yeah, that's true. Oh, wow. Just getting that back air in the nick of time, dodging the second hit of down smash. Yeah, honestly. Just a couple times in this set, Hunger's been playing with fire. Orange is... Doing a couple different smash attacks, and he's running in between the multi-hits of them. It's it's definitely a risky option. That up the Hunger wasn't even close to him. Like, I'm just a little flabbergasted by some of the option choices here, but... Oh my gosh. No, I really think Orange just wants to put Hunger away and bring this to game five. And switch back to the link, eh? Possibly. That Maybe that's what he's doing. Maybe he's trying to ice uh, Hunger in the uh, matchup perspective there. That's true, eh? You know, throw him off with first the Ganondorf, then Captain Falcon, and then finally come out with Link one last time. By the way, when you were saying that, he definitely did the turnaround grab, Tomahawk grab there that you love to see. Oh, yeah. it was. I thought he was going to land with the back air, turn it around, got that grab. It was very nice to see. No, nah, you definitely want to incorporate more of those into your game plan if you haven't already, folks at home. <sighs> okay, this is it. Hungi is ready for Gim number 55. He's about to take the win. If he can take one more stock from Orange, and Orange has quite a bit of work to do here. Oh, not opting to go off stage for a spike. That's yeah, very interesting. Yeah, that's surprising because, like, In honestly, against this character, you should be always going for it. You can do it on stage. Yeah, it can be pretty. Con yeah, the up tilt. That's right. I forgot about that. Oh, no, up tilt. Oh, sorry. No, I meant the down air. Oh, okay. But still, up tilt. Doesn't two frame anymore. I, I remember that move being so fun. But oh, yeah, there was a couple four. times from the high recoveries that I thought Orange could pull out the up tilt, get that spike on Fox. I don't know if you've noticed Magic, but Hunger's constantly just hitting Orange out of like startup of up smash. Like Orange is desperate for this kill now. It looks to be all but over. Let's just see oh. how he. Oh, nice. Untackable. Untackable. And still taking a little bit of the damage from the Firefox there. Hunger's going to love to see that putting Captain Falcon up to 107. Had a, had a slight chant there for Captain Falcon, eh? Interesting. Yeah, I mean, maybe the crowd just really wants it, but 
Hunger does not care what they say about him anyway, you know? He's coming in, he's getting juggled right now, sadly, and now he's arguably one hit away from death. I hate to say it because of Falcon's Rage, oh! but you hang on too long, you get F smashed, and ladies and gentlemen, Hunger takes Gim number 55. Great stuff there. I honestly always forget that hits ledge, so. Oh, yeah.